What's going on everyone, MetalBlade427 here, and I present to you Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Final Mix Remix. In the last episode, we were flying through space and all of a sudden we were attacked by a giant space whale named Monstro. He swallowed us, and inside we happened to find Pinocchio and his father Geppetto and their goldfish, and we are pretty much went through the chambers inside of Monstro in order to rescue Pinocchio from our friend Riku, who apparently is taking some type of weird turn. He, he's moving to the dark side, as you can probably tell. Here we are right now in the bowels of Monstro, ew, and we have now finished what we had to do here, so I guess the only thing that we can do is jump into the black hole of I don't know, and see where it takes us. I mean, that's where Pinocchio fell to, and then Rico jumped in after him, so... <sighs> Alright, hold your nose, close your eyes, and in we go! Oh, wow, the water's receding. Oh wow, that hole brought us to the mouth? Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Please, give me back my son! Sorry, old man. I have some unfinished business with this puppet. He's no puppet. Pinocchio is my little boy. He is unusual. Not many puppets have hearts. I'm not sure. But maybe he can help someone who's lost theirs. Wait a minute. Are you talking about Kyrie? What do you care about her? Riku's really not giving us much choice here. We're gonna have to go after him and get back Pinocchio. And now that we have uh, the opening up there has been released, that's pretty much where the game wants us to go. However, we wouldn't be able to get there normally, but this chest that magically appeared here on the ship contains the learned shared ability High Jump. The party can equip these shared abilities by selecting Shared in the Abilities menu. This is amazing. I'm very happy to finally have this ability because now we can get to a bunch of different places we couldn't before in other maps. The shared abilities don't require any AP in order to put on, you can just simply attach them at will, and all your party members will be able to high jump, which is great. Uh, Donald and Goofy will do it at their own leisure, I mean you'll see them high jump and whatnot, but really you just kind of want it for Sora, because he's the only one out of the three you can really control. And with that, we have high jump, and Sora, let's see here's it. Pinocchio means everything to me. Is that how we talk? Whatever. Doesn't really matter. I don't know what I'd do without him. Probably just make another puppet. That would be my uh, personal opinion. Anyway, with high jump now on, Sora will do an amazing flip. Woo! While in the air, and as you saw, he went significantly higher now that we have that attached. And with that, we can kind of get on this little ledge. Come on, right here. Come on. There we go. And up on top of the ship, because in the back here, we have a green trinity that we can jump and uh, use. Uh, activate. Trinity Ladder. Let's get that chest that's up there hidden on top of the, uh, the mast. Is that what that's called? I don't know. I don't know bird boating terms. Alright, now that we knocked down the treasure chest and apparently missed trying to get back to it, uh, we should go over there and open it up. Come on. There we go. That was easy. What we get is a Mithril Shard. I love those things so much. Now that we have high jump, we can actually get around to all of the different chests that are here in uh, Monstro's mouth. And also the fact that the water receded, we're able to get to a bunch of different ledges as well. First thing we get is a scan G. I mean, granted, I bought one of those already, so now we just have another one. Whatever, big deal. Chest over there. Uh, actually, I'm going to go over here, because even though we just did a green trinity, we can now go over here and activate a blue trinity. So, bring everybody together, and trinity, jump one. Not so much in the ways of money falling down, but we do get a few items. One potion, two potion, and a cottage. So as far as I'm concerned, it's all money anyway. Uh, jump up here, and you want to come over to this ledge on this side, because the chest in here actually contains a somewhat important item. You can bypass it if you want, but I want to pick it up. It is a water gleam, and it is very much like that bright stone or whatever that was that uh, Leon gave us back in Traverse Town. This is... where is it? Hello? Oh, oh, wait, there it is. Uh, a gem emitting a strange vitality. Basically, it's our next summon gem. We gotta bring this over to the fairy godmother, and she'll be able to activate it, and we'll have another summon to add to our list. A few more chests that we need to get. There's one on the other side over there. Just gotta remember how to get 
there. It's not always the most obvious thing in order to be able to get to uh, certain areas in here. Granted, we do have the high jump in order to be able to get to places, but you still gotta kind of figure out what path is supposed to lead to what area. So let me go over here. I think this may be where I have to go. Thank you, Sora, for that pointlessness right there. Up, 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 and yeah, I gotta make a jump from here over to that ledge on the other side, and hoop! There we go, good. And then we go over here, up and up, and we'll be able to get to this chest that is way up top here on this particular ledge. A cottage. Good for us, more things to sell. One more box way over in the side. I don't think there's anything else over here. Nope, all right. Just looking at all the weird rib cage in his mouth type bone things. Monster is so weirdly set up <laughs> with all the chambers and things pulsing and bones being in the mouth and whatnot. He is a really weird whale. Also, if you notice his teeth, his teeth are sharp when we're inside of his mouth, but technically when he went and bit us, they were like molars, they were flat. So I don't know if this is just another row of teeth in the mouth or something else. I don't know. And I missed. Whoops. Make our way back up and around. It's easier to kind of get to that chest from here because you can use the front of the boat as kind of a little ledge to get you to that particular part of wood right here. And can I make this? No, that is actually still too high for the high jump. But I should be able... There we go. To get to that ledge and then up from here. Very good. And in this, we have puppies. You definitely don't want to miss this. 73, 74, and 75. So more puppies to add or take a check off the list. Making our way through Monster. There's actually a lot of different puppies that we can actually start picking up right now inside of Monster itself. And I am actually going to do that. Uh, once you finish Monster, like going through this area and up and fight the final boss of Monstro, it'll kick you right out. So you probably want to run around to the chambers and revisit them and collect the chests that you haven't picked up already. So before going through the throat, I'm going to head back through the chambers. I'm going to let you know what chamber I'm in and what the item is, is in it. So I will meet you to our first place, which I think is going to be chamber three. Yeah, chamber three will have the first box that I'm going to pick up. So away I go. All right, after clearing out all the Heartless, here we are in Chamber 3. This is actually where we got those two pieces of the gummy ship earlier, the the, um, the Osmos and the Flare. But in addition to that, we have three more puppies to add to our list of collection, 55, 56, and 57. So that is one more checklist on our list. They're all kind of going in a bit of a row of sorts, so they're all connected together, or at least all within the same number scheme. So that was it for three. There was only three chests here in Chamber 3, and more guys keep popping up as you jump higher and higher. So you really got to be careful as you're jumping around from ledge to ledge. This is what I mean by, like, they can appear kind of out of nowhere. If you just jump up, you'll trigger points for them to spawn, so they just won't stop. All right, here we are in Chamber 6. Time for me to uh, clear the guys out and figure out what's going on here. All right, Goopy leveled up, he got some more AP, and he learned the ability Evolution. That is a new ability for Final Mix, and I will explain what that does momentarily. I got some Heartless to beat down first. All right, Chamber 6, the one with the stair design in it, and the one that has uh, the white Trinity mark. We have cleared out everybody here, and this is also oops, wrong way. This is also the one where you saw all the ledges right from where you were, and even at the highest point you couldn't get on them. But now that we have high jump, we can. So let's open up the first chest, which contains a torn page, another page to that special book that is inside of Merlin's study. That is two pages down, three more to go. And I missed. I can get that. I can get that. You have to be able to get that. I mean, if you had another ability, you'd be able to get it easier. But I'm. I don't really want to try to come back to Monstro anytime soon. All right, let's open this for a Mega Elixir. And there's actually one more chest way over there, kind of like in a little divot area or a hole. And if we grab onto, I don't know what we grabbed onto right there, but we managed to grab on and pull ourselves up. We have a few enemies in order to take down. I will just go through this, get rid of everybody. Oh man, get out of here. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna start casting magic on the fat bodies. It takes them down faster. And I really don't have to worry about him. Come on, guys, get him. Yeah, I finish it off. Whatever. All right. Chest happens to be a mithril. Stuff that you need for synthesis for later. 
Uh, the chamber uh, door right here will bring you back to one, so it's kind of a for full circle run around type deal or whatever. But we're not going to do that because we have other places we have to go and things to take a look at. Goofy learned evolution. Give up MP to give 30 HP to an entire team. This grants Goofy the ability to sacrifice one of his magic points to basically throw out a mega potion to everybody. It is an amazingly useful ability and gives Goofy a heal ability, which is awesome. And this is something that I would want him to do as often as he possibly can. So then you would have Donald healing you and you would have Goofy healing you. Goofy gets even better because he gets an ability that enables him to have almost a mega ether ability to give everybody three MP. So uh, he gets so many good abilities in Final Mix that he didn't have in the original that just makes him so much more useful than even he was before. Uh, Sora got Leaf Bracer. Stops enemies from breaking your cure ability on self. If you're in the middle of casting cure on yourself, it will not be interrupted by enemies attacking you. That will be the case if you have Leaf Bracer attached. Mind you, if you still reach zero HP, you're going to die, so you need something in order to prevent you from doing that, which is another ability later. And as much as I want to put on Leaf Bracer, I don't really have enough AP in order to do it. I don't want to take anything off Sora in order to activate it, so I'm good with what I have right now. All right, let's move on to the next chamber, Chamber 5, and see what kind of goodies we can get from that. All right, Chamber 5, right outside the door to Chamber 4. You may have saw the uh, chest that's on the ledge uh, behind Sora at this moment, the first time he came through here. You may have attempted to go up there and get it, but realized you couldn't. But now that we, of course, have high jump, it makes it so much easier to get to. So let's hop over there, grab this, which happens to be a mithril. And then we're going to come over yonder, and as you can see, there's a chest on top of a barrel. No, that's not a glitch or anything. That's exactly how the chest is supposed to be. It is randomly on top of a barrel for some reason. So we got to break the barrel in order to get to the chest, and inside the chest, you get three more puppies. So what's that, nine puppies we've collected so far in this episode? That's quite a number of them heading themselves back to uh, Pongo and Perdita. They should be quite pleased with themselves and quite pleased with us and probably ready to give us another gift. Now, I think there's one more chamber that I missed. I think I forgot a chest in chamber two, so let me go check that out, and then I'll let you know what uh, what I find. Where am I heading? Uh, let's over... Uh, what the hell is chamber two? Whatever. I'll figure out where it is, and then I'll let you know uh, what my findings are, as I said. So, hold on. Let me get over there. Aha! Just as I thought, there is a chest behind, well, behind Sora's head, which is behind the barrel, here in Chamber 2. Another one that you probably saw as you were running around Monstro for the first time, and were like, hey, how do I get that? And it was killing you and whatnot, but now we just jump on over and grab it. Probably could have used the boxes down there to get up as well, but even if you did, all you would have gotten was a Mega Elixir. And if you're a crazy item user, it would have helped. Otherwise, that that's pretty much it. And uh, as far as the chests go inside of Monstro, that should be all that there is. So why don't we head back to the mouth and then up to the top area, go through the little door that leads to the throat, and finally rescue Pinocchio. Not a single wood chip better be out of place on that puppet, or else my Keyblade and Riku's face are going to become close friends. Alright, here we are at the door to the throat. Let's head on in, and then we have a vertical climb to the top to see exactly what is going on up there and what's happening and why Riku is acting crazy-like. All right, so right here we have a blue trinity mark on the floor. What you probably want to do is clear out again the Heartless uh, in the area in order to uh, be able to activate that. I probably should have just cleared out the bottom row and then went with that, because every time it seems that you jump on one of the ledges, you activate another wave of Heartless. And you have anything from shadows in here to various spellcasters to these search ghosts. And I believe there's a few uh, air soldiers as you go up as well. Ooh, Sora and Donald leveled up at the same time. Good stuff. But um, I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run around and clear out everything. I probably shouldn't even bother. I could have just activated the Trinity down. But no, now I had to jump up a little bit and cause everybody to start coming down at me. Uh, one moment before I get that Trinity. Okay, that's good enough. Let's head on over and activate the Trinity Mark and do our Trinity Jump. Away we go, guys. Let's do it. Jump. Jump, I said. Alright, that was a good amount of uh, money that came down from that, as well as a Mithril Shard. Very good. But you know what would have helped even more? If every one of us had some type of treasure magnet ability equipped. 
Hey, Donald got AP from his last level up. Why don't we give him Treasure Magnet just so we can start collecting stuff a little bit better. So now our range of uh, collecting has gone up quite a bit more now that more people have it. And as I climb, there's going to be a bunch of guys that appear. I am just going to ignore them and make my way to the stomach. Oh man, another place I don't really want to go to. Hey, let Pinocchio go, Riku. A puppet that's lost its heart to the heartless. Maybe it holds the key to helping Kairi. How about it, Sora? Let's join forces to save her. We can do it together. What? You'd rather fight me? Over a puppet that has no heart? Heart or no heart. At least he still has a conscience. Sick burn! Conscience? You might not hear it, but right now it's loud and clear. And it's telling me you're on the wrong side! Yeah, Riku. Then you leave me no choice. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Jiminy. I'm not gonna make it. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! Oh! I guess I'm okay! Well, that's one way of knowing, I guess. Good stuff. Yay! Huh? What the? Oh man, you again? Ah, uh, I thought we got rid of you back in the uh, the bowels of this place. Anyway, here we go, round two against the Parasite Cage. You remember him from the last episode? He's annoying as anything, and he's even more annoying now. He now has 900 HP, will give you a thousand experience, and beating him will grant you the time element. Same exact journal entry from before, but now he is much more annoying. He's stronger with his attacks, plus he's surrounded by that yellow liquid, which is like a bile of some sorts. If you happen to stand on it for too long, or he spits it at you, which he does have that ability, Sora will get poisoned, and you'll know he's poisoned because he'll have this like purple haze going up around his head, and his health will slowly start draining, uh, I think like uh, two points at a time or something like that. It's something that'll just go away on its own, it doesn't last long, but you need to keep an eye on it and heal yourself uh, as needed as you go ahead and fight this guy. The good thing about the Parasite Cage this time is you can see right there, if you hit him in the head long enough, he'll lean back and give you a little bit of a chance in order to wail on him and whatnot. When you beat the top part of his head down, it'll drop some MP balls, and then when you start beating the center part of him, because he has this weird core inside of the cage, that'll drop some HP balls. So it's just a little bit of a means in order to heal yourself. Unfortunately for me, at least this guy, he is really, really relentless in his attacks, and... Again, Donald and Goofy just kind of barrel at him without too much regard to their own safety, and they're out through most of this fight. Even after I gave Goofy evolution, which would have been very nice if he was alive right now because he would use it. Come on, Goof. I have to reset up his, uh, what is it, uh, oh, oh, heal, heal, heal something quickly. Okay, Goofy healed me. I healed myself. Okay, good. Anyway, I have to reset up his customization thing in order for him to be able to use evolution more uh, efficiently. Because right now I think I just have him using support abilities uh, on occasion or in emergency. I'd rather him be frequent. Even if I'm at a little bit of health left, I want him to use evolution. Any healing is better than no healing. Oh man, this thing is becoming really annoying. There we go, parry to attack. Ow. I burned through a lot of items myself personally through this whole thing, so it's best to be safe than sorry. Plus, I collected a lot of items through my journey, so I don't really care. Oh, you can see that kind of running now around Sora's head. Oh, it went away. But there was like this purple mist around his face that pretty much indicated that he was poisoned. Alright, we're almost done. Almost uh, at the point to beating him. I'd rather be safe than sorry, so I might as well just throw some items to be on the okay side. And we will go in for, ow, the final attack. Or not. There we go, much better. Sora and Goofy level up. Excellent, finally. Oh man, he's imploding. Riku, Riku, where are you? He's 
giving Monstro indigestion, apparently. And we attain the power of time. Learned magic spell. Stop. So, Kyrie's like a lifeless puppet now? Precisely. And her heart was... Taken by the heartless, no doubt. Tell me, what can I do? There are seven maidens of the purest heart. We call them the princesses of heart. Gather them together, and a door will open to the heart of all worlds. Within lies untold wisdom. There you will surely find a way to recover Kyrie's heart. Now, I'll grant you a marvelous gift. The power to control the heartless. Remember everyone, in the Disney Universe, lime green equals evil. Soon, Kyrie. Soon. And that's a proven fact, by the way. Gesundheit! Sneezed us right out of him. Very good. Don't know how we did it, but we did it. I sure hope Pinocchio and Geppetto are okay. Yeah, hopefully they landed safely somewhere. I'm sure they're alright, guys. Riku. Yeah, him too. Whatever. Riku and I aren't exactly on friendly terms right now. So it blasts you back to Agrabah. You can go into the Dark Chamber if you want to, because it is open through the Gummy Ship, but we are not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to wait till I have a few more Trinities under my belt before I go back to Agrabah. But anyway, I think my magic is as good as Donald's now. We're basically talking about this with uh, Donald and Sora, because with the Stop spell, we have now learned every spell in the, the game. Any other spells that we end up obtaining through it are just going to be upgrades to what we currently have. So we have one of every spell, now we just have to get them all to level 3. And all we have is level 2 fire and level 2 blizzard. Also, there's a tournament being held at the Coliseum, so the next one opened up. I'm not going to worry about that right now, I do want to go and beat one more world before I go and do that Coliseum battle. But before all that, we have a bunch of things that we need to do back in Traverse Town, so let's warp there and get done what it is that we need to get done. And things that include, uh, that need to get done are going to the Magician's Study for that Summon Gem, back to the Synthesis Shop, and a few other things here and there if I can remember. So let's go to the Magician's Study first. Dropping in on Merlin that we don't really need to see, we really want to come over here and activate the carriage to bring forth the Fairy Godmother and show her the new Summon Gem that we managed to obtain from Monstrum. Oh. Another summon gem. Let's help this little one. Please, please let's do. Here we go. Bibbidi, bobbidi, boo. And with that, we learn the summon spell. Dumbo, that awesome flying elephant that we get to ride on and shoot water at everybody. He's not really too useful. He's more for crowd control, but there is one particular uh, enemy that I use him against all the time. And that'll be much later when I do... I guess I may do an episode of all the unique Heartless that are in Final Mix. But I'll worry about that later. Uh, we still need to do a Trinity. And there's a chest all the way over there that even with high jump, we don't come anywhere near to getting. Still need one more ability in order to get that chest. So why don't we swim back? What I'm going to do right now is, before heading to the Synthesis Shop, is I'm going to run around to a few of the districts and collect uh, some materials. I know I'm missing a few shards of various degree. I'm going to see what I can collect from the guys there and then head over to the Synthesis Shop so I can make as many things as possible. So I'll meet you there. Sound leveled up. Got some more HP. Something that he'll always need. Before heading back to the synthesis shop, I figured I'd point out there's one thing in the alley that I missed. There's actually a chest up here that you can get from uh, the balcony points, and really all it is is a pretty stone, just one more thing that you can sell for money because that's the only purpose behind it, but it's there and I missed it before. 
and with the high jump we're able to get up and over those blocks easier, so just another shortcut between the first district and various other points in Traverse Town. Alright, I collected what I needed to collect, let's head up over here and we'll head inside the uh, item workshop, the synthesis shop, whatever you want to call it, and talk to Mr. Moogle back here and see what new stuff we can make. Let's synthesize! Bow down, 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 down. We make a mega ether, a guard earring, an angel bangle, and a golem chain. I say always make the priority accessories because that'll help your characters out more than items. So let's make that. We'll make this, and we'll make this. And apparently, we can't make the mega ether anymore because I don't have any more blaze shards. That's okay. The uh, the fire uh, spellcasters, uh, the red ones, or the red nocturnes, they drop that stuff. So I can always go back and get that later. So, that's not bad. A few things I'm missing for the armlet, the moogle bangle, and the EXP I'm missing a bunch of other items for. And we have not created another list yet. I think we need to make 10 items for the next list to go up. So, uh, you know what? Before we equip, we have one last place that we're going to go to here in Traverse Town. It is actually a brand new place that just opened up. After beating Monstro, if you look down this little way, an empty alley is now Geppetto's Workshop. Look at that. That went up very quickly. Whoever built this house is really, really talented. They, they need to come over to my place and possibly spruce it up a little bit. Pinocchio? Hey, it's Sora! Well, hello, Sora! How did you get here? Yeah, that, that's what I'm kind of wondering. A man named Leon helped us. He even got us this house to live in! He got it for you? Did he, did he build it? Like, how, how does that work? I don't know. I don't know how I'll ever repay his kindness. Say, I hear you three are fighting the Heartless. Well, yeah, it's kind of what we did while we were in Monstro's stomach, if you didn't notice. I thought I might be able to help you, so I made this. He made Geppetto. So what uh, Geppetto basically does for us is he gives us blueprints for different types of gummy ships. We can enter and leave his house a bunch of times, and then the more heartless we defeat in terms of like in the gummy ships and everything, he will grant us blueprints that will be able to change your gummy ship and different things. And they'll look like different characters. So he gave us one that looks like himself. He'll give us stuff that looks like various Final Fantasy characters and things like that. And as you can see, there's a blueprint there. But Geppetto himself, let me get out of the way here, get Donald out of the way so we can look at him, we can finally give a proper introduction to. Geppetto, first appearance in Pinocchio in 1940, this kind, gentle clockmaker, Sora and his friends helped him escape from Monstro's belly. These days, he's living in Traverse Town and looking forward to the day Pinocchio becomes a real boy. He is a kind and gentle clock clockkeeper, clock whatever. This is, of course, written from uh, Jiminy's perspective, so there's a few things in there that I have to kind of change around to make it sound a little bit more, um, you know, understandable based off of this. But that's all right. No big deal. Because, like, when I try to read uh, Pinocchio's, it says I in it, and by I, I, I mean Jiminy. And I'm trying to get a good shot of Pinocchio. The guy standing there, he's kind of short, so it's a little hard to do. And Donald keeps getting in my way, and... Ah! Uh, Stupid sensitivity. Anyway, here we go. Pinocchio, first appearance of Pinocchio, 1940. Crafted by Geppetto and brought to life by the Blue Fairy. He'd have lost his heart to the Heartless if I hadn't come to rescue. Now he's living in Traverse Town with Geppetto and working hard to become a real boy. You didn't do anything, Jiminy. We were the ones that protected him. Uh, okay. We have a chest here in Geppetto's workshop that grants us a new weapon for Sora, so that's why I waited, because I knew I was going to get this item. And before anything else, come over to the corner and we get a postcard, which technically should be your last one, but I'm at 9, so i got to figure out where that 10th one is. I don't remember where I missed it. Anyway, why don't we head into our uh, equipment screen and fiddle around with everybody, because we got a bunch of new accessories and items. For Sora, we go from three wishes to the Wishing Star. It has a short, uh, short reach, but always finishes up with a combo, a powerful critical blow. Finishes up a combo with a critical blow. Basically, whenever you do your final attack with your combo, it'll be always a critical. So your final attack will be a critical all the time, regardless of whatever it is. So I would say definitely take off your combo plus so you can get to your end attack faster and be able to perform your critical move and do as much damage as possible. It is a little bit weaker, but that's okay because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to look around. I'm going to give him something that maybe powers up his strength. Um, let's see here. 
Skeletor. I think the golem, the golem chain is probably my best bet. It does raise his strength by two. His HP goes down a little bit, but you know what? I can probably handle that. Even the defense goes up a little bit. Yeah, golem chain is definitely where I want. Make sure his strength goes up as much as possible. Yeah, that that's that's pretty much going to be all I want to do for Sora. We got more stuff to do with Donald and the Goofy. What I'm going to do with Donald now is I'm actually going to change his uh, weapon to the Shooting Star, increasing his strength, even though his MP does go down, but I am going to run around with this for a little bit. As far as items go, let's see. Oh, there you go. Everything, yeah, you're perfect. <laughs> Everything goes up, nothing goes down. So, of course, the Angel Bangle will go to him. And do I want to give him anything else? Uh, he doesn't really need AP. Uh, nothing really. I don't really want his... Um, MP to go, or HP to go down that much more. Yeah, he's good. Uh, Goofy goes from the Mithril Shield to the Gigas Fist, so he will get a much better strength boost right now for the next world that we go into, which is good, and I'm going to switch this out for the Inferno Band. Nothing really we're going to be attacking has much ice magic to it, so I'd rather have the Fire and Darkness defense, and... Do I want to give him... Oh, yeah, we'll give him the uh, the guard earring. That's good. And the ray of light will stay on. Very good. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Leave him with the uh, the extra HP and uh, the MP. Because now that he has evolution, he can now use it to his full advantage. I did give him two AP because of that one accessory. So why don't we give him Tornado? Donald has Treasure Magnet, which is good. And Sora, now that he has two more AP, I'm going to take off Combo Plus and Tech Boost... And I'm going to give him a Leaf Bracers. This way I won't get uh, stopped from casting my Cure Spell. Oh, speaking of uh, stop. Like I said, we got ourselves our last magic spell of the game. And that would be down here. Prevents targets from taking action for a limited time. It literally stops them in midair. But you can keep wailing on them with your Keyblade. And as soon as the spell wears off, you just see all the damage start coming at them one by one. So it's pretty funny watching them take lots of invisible hits and things along that ways. And that'll be uh, a lot better used once it gets stronger for right now. It doesn't really do too much and I won't really worry too much about it. Anywho, we've done everything that we need to do for this episode. In the next one, we will be heading to a brand new world. This one's a lot spookier than some of the other ones that we've been to. Ha, huh? there's your hint. And then we'll be seeing what new friends we have to make there, what new things we can find, and all kinds of other good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to rate and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get equipped with me, Metal Blade 427 Until next time, everyone, you have a good one, and I will catch you all later.